we've got to wait a minute again. The Ambassador of Bolivia. Well, President Welcome. Reagan, it's a pleasure meeting you. Well, it's very happy to have you here. Wow. Thank it's you. My and Mrs. Yeah. Yeah. President, yeah. I'd like to meet you. Nice to see you. Thank you. You and I will move in front of the fireplace All right. for a picture and exchange of papers, and then okay. you will join us for a picture after we have. assistance in the program I know that you have of trying to deal with the drug traffic. Well, we want to be of help if we possibly can. You. you know, we're meeting on the trying circumstances for my country and uh, yes. we also have had a very terrible flood recently that has left a hundred people homeless around the Titicaca Lake and uh, destroying all our ports, lake ports. So we are having our very difficult problems. We just have some of that also, he has very severe flesh. Now. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's very good. I know that you're on your way. So thank you very much for our well, this lovely visit. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Oh, you will. Bye-bye. Ambassador of Colombia. Yes, Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President, well, well, what a pleasure yeah. to meet you. Pleased to have you here. This is the interpreter. I'm the interpreter of this. And this is Mrs. Posada. Pleased to meet you, my wife, Mrs. Posada. Hello. 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 Well, you and I will go over in front of the fireplace, exchange our papers, and have a picture. And then we will all join us. Well, this is my credential, but it's a great honor for me to send this letter. Well, we're honored to have you here. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. something of the struggles you're having with the drug. Yes. I'm not quite a good but we can be a help in the way yes. we can. I suppose I can work in order to strengthen the relationship between your country and my country. Well, I shall cooperate with that. Thank you, Mr. President. Now. Thank you, sir. Well, you all welcome all of you. Pleasure to have you. Ambassador Burkino Faso. Mr. Ambassador, hello. Pleased to see you in the head. Mrs. See you. 
each other soon. There's Don. Well, I know it's been a tough day. I'm just yes, sir. Wowee. The stock market closed at 1746.04, up 43.1, on a volume of 188.2 million shares, an all time high. Economics. <laughs> we used to call it Reaganomics. <laughs> it's working. Oh, Did you see my shoot over yeah, there? We already got the, the crew over there. Oh, I don't know. That's all we got. for secrets. Call Stan and Wolfsoft. And the last thing off for the Brazil call. And that is the number of the new council. I'll be at the back of that. That's a good one. No, I did. You want the talking points for your call to Michael uh, about the back of the schedule? Just have a birthday. I can't remember whether I've got a separate set up there. It's exactly. Exactly. Tear, tear, tear it out. Just tear it out in case. Of, I know that it's the, it's the 24th anniversary of his 39th birthday. I wished him a happy birthday earlier. He called me this morning at quarter of eight. He was worried about reading in the papers that we were compromising. We ain't, we ain't. I reassure them. All right, over we go. To the library. Well, it's all right there. That's all right, they relate to you, you're fine. <laughs> legislation it's going to be helpful to the country and uh, helpful to the grain people to the dairy people and others and uh, it is legislation that's now been agreed to by the secretary and by others but I also wanted to do one other thing Mr. President um, this letter is written by a woman in Plateau, Wisconsin and it talks about you, you and I talked when you were in Wisconsin about the attitude of what people are going through on the farm and I'd like to just just give you this letter and and uh, it talks a little bit about the problems in the farm and what they're faced with. And, and it will give you kind of a flavor of what's going on out there and the kind of position that, that Don and Jim and I and others are trying to, are trying to deal with. And she's a friend. She's a, 
person that I don't know well, we called her this morning and I said we were going to give you this letter. And I hope very much that you can sign the farm this, this uh, remedial legislation and then we'll be in a position that we think we can, we can go forward. And, uh, <coughs> if I can just add, I want to say that this last package that we passed, some of it is corrected legislation, some of it is came about through mis uh, misinterpretation, I'd like to think. Uh, but it's extremely important. And I think it puts the farm bill back where I thought it was, some pretty close when we started out, that we made a big correction in the dairy that Bob carried the bull down on the dairy uh, program. It's very important to case by the mine. And, uh, I think it's such a good package, it's going to do wonders for the bill, and I think it's going to help a lot making farmers will take this package and realize that it, it is a workable program for them for the next few years. Well, and tell me, has the word gotten to them about the things that we just decided the other day about the transfer of funds and so forth, the additional money and all that in time for the spring planning? Let me so, tell you, so, uh, there's still some, there's, there's some questions about that, but I think overall, and the other thing that's going to help us is, is with the dollar coming down, interest rates coming down, I think that we can look at a, at a bright future out there, but we've got some initial problems and that's what we've got to work our way through. And more than that, I think it clearly tells the farmers you are concerned about the farmers. I always have been. I'll never forgive somebody for, you know, you know the gridiron, annual gridiron is a place where you, you tell outrageous jokes and so forth even on yourself. And it's all done with the promise that the gridiron is off the record, but that comes out of it. Mm -hmm. So I, for that, and the outrageous joke that I send the remark about exporting the farmers is suddenly to see this in the press. I don't feel that way at all. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate it. I think the more statements and the compliments on Dick Lane, we talked, and I think you've got a good secretary over here, but we still have a lot of problems. And there's no way that any farm bill is going to solve all those problems. And we're going to be working on some credit legislation. I, I know in my state, last year we had 13 bank failures, and nationwide we only had 120. So that kind of shows you that energy and agriculture really hurting. And, and there are some things I think that can be done with not really a lot of expense on the federal side that would encourage the farm credit system to uh, restructure instead of foreclose. The, the number of foreclosures is just very rampant, the number of failures. And just give you, to tell you, remember when you were in Oklahoma and we drove by a wheat field and I told you those guys are going to have some problems this year. In, in our state, in the, in the federal land bank system, we have one out of nine farmers is, is late as payments by over a year. And in Farmers Home, FMHA, we have uh, 1,900 are delinquent by over a year. And, and, and then so there's still some very negative things out there with the land prices being down and so on. Bob's right, with the value of the dollar coming down, that's going to help. There's some things in the bill that will help us move green. But we really still have some very, very serious problems. And we're going to have a lot of people that are going to be uh, forced off, off the farm. The credit legislation that we're looking at that should be able to help. Mr. President, this has been a pretty good week uh, in terms of accomplishments. The regulatory uh, agencies, the bank regulatory agencies, and the Department of the Treasury have revised some of their regulations, right. which will be helpful Very to, to uh, uh, farm credit. We have the $750 million that you went out. If this legislation is signed, it seems to me it focuses very strongly on the, on the president's support for agriculture and, and, uh, and, and my first week. Uh, <laughs> You've done all right. <laughs> you, you made me look pretty good. <laughs> well, well, keep having more good weeks. Mr. President, not only Senator Nichols, he said, I, I'm uh, co-sponsoring and pushing hard for a piece of legislation that's been put in. It doesn't cost anyone anything. It's such, it makes sense, so much sense, that I can't believe that the farm credit system that we're talking about in his legislation hasn't adopted it without being told to it. It'd be good if you look at that piece of legislation. Maybe, uh, I, I just think it could do wonders to help the situation out. That it would, and, and, and we can help some people. I see